You're watching 8-Bit Days a Week and Happy New Year wherever you are. And I'd like to talk about 2018, a year that saw tons of modern updates, new ways to play retro games in the form of many HD consoles. Ever since the success of the NES Classic, we've seen companies trying to copy the formula of having the presentable micro console dedicated console connected via HDMI and comes with built-in games. We saw the release of the C64 Mini looking like the original Commodore 64 but smaller and comes with a non-functional keyboard. It features 64 Commodore games. Reviews were kind of mixed with the game selection though. But the console saw a firmware version that eventually enabled easier loading of ROMs without needing to hack the console. To be honest, I've never played C64 back in the day, so this doesn't hold any nostalgic value to me. If I do find one at a good price, I'll give it a shot, as the Commodore was a pretty popular system back then. 2018, we also saw the release of the Neo Geo Mini from SNK, taking the form of a mini arcade cabinet featuring 40 games representing the 40th anniversary of the MVS AES era of uh, Neo Geo. It was um, too pricey for me though, so I had to pass one up. Also frustrating is that the game selection is you're, you're, you're having to choose either uh, a fighting slash KOF focused one or an action slash metal slug focused selection. And I think if they really wanted to, they could have just included everything fit into one unit. Besides, why do we need uh, metal slug 2? and Metal Slug X in one unit, they're basically the same game. Also, out of three Art of Fightings they chose to put in the first one. Also, in just a few months they, s they released another version, uh, the Christmas one, which featured even more games with a slightly different selection. Uh, hopefully we all, we get every game packaged in one unit in the future. I didn't follow the hacking scene on this one. Maybe it's already possible? Um, please let me know in the comments if it is. I might reconsider. Or maybe I'll just wait for like a mini AES version. Kinda like the Neo Geo X but maybe smaller and better I hope. 2018 also saw the return of the Famicom Classic Mini, this time celebrating Shonen Jump's 50th anniversary. Anniversary, excuse me. It's the Mini Famicom we all know and love, but with gold color instead of white, and carrying 20 different games based from various manga series that came out in the weekly Shonen Jump comics. Might be a rare item someday since the, um, I do believe that the classic series from Nintendo has been discontinued. And the uh, uh, thing is, for the game selection, I'd say that this is for hardcore collectors only, as uh, many of the titles doesn't really hold up, to be honest. And some of them are just straight out terrible. And then of course, tail end of the year we also saw PlayStation Classic from Sony themselves as you've probably seen on this channel too reviews were mostly negative to be honest it has been considered a failure but the Bleem, Bleem Sync and RetroArch gives it new life um, PlayStation Classic could have been done better by Sony yes but Thanks to the hacking scene, it's not completely terrible, especially now with the lowered price. Um, I did got get it on got it on full price and uh, kind of hurts, but it is what it is. 
there are also s these classic consoles that have been released in 2018 but doesn't actually take the form of any of the you know like an older console but still acts very similar some are good some are bad and um the retro bit super retro cade had a revision this year look for the 1.1 marking on the box this added more emulator support meaning more games with no additional hacking required as it has an sd card slot so super for those who don't know super retrocade is actually a console that isn't specific to anything it's mostly a combination of uh, arcade games and some console games from um, nes and the mega drive and from companies like uh, capcom data east technos and irem and that is the one uh, classic console that i could recommend the one that i would not recommend though is the one from at games the legends flashback it's kind of similar um it's also a mix of console and arcade games featuring games from namco capcom data east acclaim but the emulation quality isn't any good and it doesn't have the same level of game support that the retro bit super retro k does and at games release a lot of stuff actually they still have the long-running atari flashback series i do believe it's in its ninth iteration uh in 2018 it's now supporting hdmi it still looks like the 2600 more or less and there is a slight difference of course and it comes with 110 games this time and ad games also came out with the blast series which is uh, basically a dongle and a controller it has fewer games and they're mostly arcade games and um, i've seen them around even at the lower price i still wouldn't recommend those uh however so i suggest you spend your money on some other console or game and um yeah so that's commodore the c64 mini the neo geo mini the famicom classic mini shonen jump edition playstation classic um a revision of the super retro cade and the at games flashback legends as well as the atari flashback itself what's missing and what's coming for 2019 hopefully we know for certain the sega mega drive mini is coming this year 2019 it will be headed by sega themselves initially it was going to be another app games thing but i do believe they backtracked it's now going to be handled by sega and maybe if it's successful we might see the saturn or a dreamcast mini next well hopefully at least uh maybe they're just keeping quiet about it of course um we also saw a like a trademark rene uh, renewal of the n64 controller and if you've been following it the the classic scene that's exactly what happened before the snes classic came out we saw like a trademark uh, run by nintendo uh, fi filed by nintendo and uh, eventually later on they released the snes classic and uh, they did the same for the n64 but they never released an n64 classic and they keep on telling us that moving forward everything's gonna be on the switch so i don't know maybe they're just denying it right now but hopefully eventually they'll release the n64 classic maybe this year maybe next year who knows i just do hope that they eventually do and then of course there is the ps classic which is uh, unfortunately considered a failure so will they try to bounce back with a ps2 classic i sure hope so although um 
I doubt it if it will come out uh, 2019, but it's still something worth looking forward to. Maybe, maybe soon. I don't know. And there's also a joke. Well, at least I think it's just a joke that uh, Phillips is gonna try for a CDI classic. Um, that'd be funny, and uh, given the right price, you know, I might consider that. But of of course, it has to be. It it has to have the infamous Zelda and Mario games. And uh, well, that's it. What do I hope? I'm really hoping for the Dreamcast Mini. That's the one, the one dedicated console that I hope that will become a reality soon. And as well as the PC Engine Duo, there's not much. I don't hear any like a clamor for that. But we just need another way to play Ronzo of Blood or Lords of Thunder. So yeah, that personally, that's my hope for these mini consoles and um, that's it for this video and yeah we just uh, ran down to ran down the all these dedicated consoles hopefully this trend will not die down anytime soon until they actually cover all or at least most of the consoles and uh, I think we're getting there though so that's it for today happy new year once again you're watching 8-bit days a week please do like comment and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching